Hi, and welcome to Mike Lee's Life Hacks. Uh, today I'm building an interior door made of pine. Um, it's going to replace just a standard door to give it a rustic look. So I'm going to teach you today how to make your new door look old. All right, so let me show you what I've done so far in building this. So far, I have I used one by sixes. This is tongue and groove. That would be the whole backside. So I built the whole backside with tongue and groove, one by six pine. And then I used a one by six board for the side pieces. And a one by six for the center. And then I used a one by eight for the bottom. And the top piece. Um, and then I cut out this decorative piece here to give it a, uh, a nice uh, custom look. I have already routed all the edges using a Roman uh, Ogden bit. Gives it a nice finished interior look. And then now I am, now I'm distressing it. So what I started off doing was I've taken the chisel and the hammer and I'm just going to work on this stuff. I just hammer it in, hammer it down, chip it out, hammer it down, chip it out, hammer it down, chip it out. I do that all the way around. You want to have a nice variation in the, in the sizes to make it look like this is an old board. It was hand hewn. And then what I did was I went back with both sides of the hammer. Okay, I used the claw side. Just put the marks all over. Then I took the other side of the hammer. And I just kind of... You want it to look really random. Try not to follow any kind of pattern. Just do it very random. Make sure you work all the way around each edge. Uh, some people may have a tendency of working right up through the middle. You want to try to avoid working up the middle. You want to get all the way to the edges to make it look like the log has been used and abused over time. Now what I'm going to do... I'm actually taking my angle grinder and for this one you want to kind of work with the grain to make it look like uh, there's some kind of an issue with the wood. So you can see I've already started here. I just put a couple of grinds in with the with the angle of the wood. You don't want to go cross grain. Cross grain is going to give it kind of an unnatural look. I mean you could. I mean random is good but I've found that Going with the grain when you're using the angle grinder and cuts actually gives it a really authentic look. So let me go ahead and demonstrate what I'm doing with the angle grinder so you can see. Alright, so really you could see that there really is no right way or wrong way of doing this. There's no way to really mess up. In my opinion, the more random it looks, the better. Um, so, once again, you can see my cuts. Try to make them random. I really like the grooves in there. It gives a whole different flavor to it. it makes it look like somebody messed up with a saw or something. 
I'm not going to score or do anything with the uh, inside because this board is a little bit thinner. It is one by, but however, it is tongue and groove, so I don't think it's quite as uh, sturdy. So I'm actually going to use the outside to make it look like it was from hewn logs. And then, um, yeah, we'll go from there. So I got a lot of stuff that I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm doing a lot of uh, welding projects. I'm doing a lot of wood projects. I'm going to be building some wood beams here uh, probably within the next week. So stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And uh, peace out. And God bless America.